<laughs> Hello, my name's Ian. Welcome back to The Grow Zone. Uh, today we are going to give these plants some much needed attention. They have set some fruits down here which have become ripe. We're going to pluck one of those a bit later and have a little taste. Other than that, they've gone mad with flowers, setting lots and lots of flowers, which is fantastic. Some signs of deficiencies here. They need a water change and they need to move to final part. We are going to force these flowers and jump them over, try and get them to set some fruits. Let's get into it. So uh, I hope you can get a better view of the tomatoes we have here. There's a lot more fruit than we thought there was, which is fantastic. Uh, get a shot of the, the stuff we've taken off there, Kristen, if you can, which is just a huge pile. These guys have been, as I said, neglected, not neglected, but just left. It's been a month and a bit, and they are gonna really benefit from this. This fruit down the back here, for example, hasn't just hasn't had any light. We're going to have to support these a little bit better now in places. This guy, for example, has got some great fruit on these far, far plants. And we're going to hang these up again from the ceiling, give them a bit of support. And then it's time for a water change. We have given these guys a pretty hard prune. You saw the pile of stuff we took off. Uh, we've supported them uh, a little bit more. Some of them are now friends. We have uh, clips, clip them together. These two are supporting each other, as are the back two here. As you can see, we've got some tomatoes that are ready to eat. Um, so we're going to have a little taste. Why not? One for Christian, one for me. There you go. Mm. Mm, that's yummy. What do you think? Yeah, pretty good. Good? Pretty good. Excellent. Well, I, I'm going to pick these other little ones here. We've got five or six. Take them inside, put them in the fridge, have them for dinner. Right now, we're going to do a water change. We've got a little bit left in the bottom there, so we're going to pump it out. We are going to swap these guys over to final part. We want to get these flowers to produce some fruit. We're going to have a lot of tomatoes. Okay, so our water is um, in our bin here, up to temperature. We're going to need a little bit of pH down. It's sitting around 7.14 now. Uh, we've got Terra Aquatica's pH minus powder and our little measuring scoops here. And also we're going to add final part from Terra Aquatica. This is a ripening um, solution. Uh, you must shake these bottles well before use. This is um, a late flowering solution and we're going to need five millilitres per litre and we're calling this 50 litres of water. We'll get our measuring jug here. We'll make sure our pH is okay and we'll pump it back into the main reservoir there. Uh, we've got our standard garden hose, we're going to pump all this water back. pH is sitting around 6.3, which we are happy with. Oops. Make sure it's in the reservoir. <laughs> yeah. Final part's in, water change is done. These plants are going to be happy for another couple of weeks. If you want to see how this grow very nearly didn't start, check out this video here and there's playlists for RDWC systems here. We'll see you in the next one. Okay.